Everybody ready? We're going to start with 10. Okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, yay! It works. Um, I want you to be aware before we start, there are a lot of wires around. The, the, the orange one is easy to see. The others are green and black, and they're hard to see, so be very careful. Um, that's one of the reasons that we'd like to have the fire department here, okay? All right, I'm going to begin. Welcome to the sixth annual Celebration of Lights. I'm Kathy Children. I'm president of the Edward Hopkins Educational Foundation. Other board members are Vice President Joe Pilas, Secretary Elaine Children, co-treasurers Judy Pilas and Matt Kushai, as well as Cindy Watson, Eddie Foreman, Mary Ann Weinzick, Cindy Borowski, and Mary Carney. The foundation is named for Edward Hopkins, who was the second governor of the colony of Connecticut. In his will, he left funds to several settlements in New England for the purpose of establishing schools and colleges. Some of his funds were the basis for the founding of Hopkins Academy, as well as Harvard University. Hopkins Academy was founded in 1664 and celebrated its 350th anniversary in 2014. We began this event six years ago as a way of recognizing a common thread among the various cultures at this time of year. Light in various forms is the common thread, whether it's the lighting of candles, lights in windows or on a tree, or a bonfire. The beautiful tree that we just lit was donated in memory of Peter Weinzick six years ago by his wife Mary Ann, children Heather, Peter Jr., and Daki, as well as the Weinzick family of Weinzick Evergreen Nursery. We appreciate and thank them for this permanent remembrance. The tree has grown so much over the years that it requires the assistance of the Hadley Fire Department to place the lights on it. We thank them for doing this for us. The Edward Hopkins Foundation awards monetary grants to teachers in the schools for materials or programs that aren't funded through the regular budget process. This fall, we funded two grants at Hadley Elementary one for a water table for the preschool and another for math manipulatives for a first grade classroom for students to use with their new math program. At Hopkins Academy, grants were awarded to support students attending a Red Sox STEM day and a STEM challenge day and to a class that's been participating in a program that links students in Central America with students in the United States via Zoom the culminating activity for this class is a trip to Guatemala in April of 2023 to meet these other students and to work on a project together that will benefit their school. Perhaps some of the students who are here with us this evening have benefited from one of these grants. Our primary fundraiser is the sale of t-shirts and sweatshirts for children and adults with the Grown and Hadley logo, Asparagus logo. We also have additional items with the logo, as well as hooker school bricks and sidewalk bricks. We have crew neck sweatshirts and hoodies here tonight that are available for purchase under the tent to your right, my left. In addition, on Saturday, December 3rd and Saturday, December 10th, all of the Grown and Hadley merchandise will be available for purchase at the Goodwin Library. The library will be open from 10 to noon. These two Saturdays also give anyone who comes to the library a chance to see the Hopkins Academy memorabilia that we have displayed. And we really have some wonderful things. The foundation participates in the Florence Bank Community Grant Awards. In order to qualify for a grant, we have to turn in at least 50 vote forms. If you have a Florence Bank account, we would appreciate it if you'd fill out a form for us. All we need is your name and signature, no account information. Each form is worth approximately $15 in grant money. 
The forms are available at the tent, or you can vote online at Florence Bank. We have successfully received funds from Florence Bank for the last four years. We would appreciate your support. Refreshments this evening were donated by the North Hadley Market and Sugar Shack, Barstow's Dairy and Bakery, and Dunkin' Donuts. We thank these local businesses for their generosity. Thanks to Fire Chief Mike Spanknable and the Hadley Fire Department for illuminating the grounds tonight. Also thanks to members of the Hadley Police Department who have joined us this evening. And thanks to all of you who have donated toys and non-perishable food to their holiday drives. We want to thank Alex LaMarche of the Hadley Media for taping tonight's event. Once edited, the event will be shown on local access channels 191 and 192. And Alex tells me it'll probably be the, fir uh, the first full week of December that that will happen. We thank you for joining us this evening. We look forward to seeing you again in 2023 on the Saturday after Thanksgiving. And our program tonight is going to be from a group of wonderful young Girl Scouts that are here with their leader, Mrs. Bozek, if they want to come forward now.
Thank you all for coming. Thank you girls very much. And please get some refreshments before you go or just hang around and enjoy the tree. Thank you. Good night. <laughs>